Here at The Low Life, we're deep into the heart of the low-riding culture, counterculture, and everything else in between. But on this episode, we're exploring the rides that some consider to be next in the evolution of low and slow. So, Ruben, how long did it take to build this beautiful car? Um, it took me a year and a half straight. That's it? And that's it, yeah. It's... So how do the, the uh, traditional low riders react when they see your car? Um, they're quite amazed with, with the amount of modification I've done to it. I mean, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's motorized, and uh, they trip out when they see that. The riders are progressively accepting it more and more. We're starting to see more SUVs and, you know, more imports, you know, and not just at a street level, you know, competing at a show level with, you know, completely restored new vehicles. I think they're accepting it more and more. We're the new generation of low right right here. Just the style and the trend right now. So, like when low riding was back then, we had that 13. Now, I guess this is the style. When the traditional low riders see these, see these cars, they just think that there used to be little wheels on these type of old, old style cars, but now we're going with a big wheel with the same kind of paint. They say, I, I just I need to put my car on smaller wheels, but it's just not, not my style.